Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaya. For any of you that are new and viewing, welcome to the channel, you guys. Today, Love Me Hair was kind enough to send over one of their colored units, and I'm super duper excited to install it for you guys today. So, if you guys are unfamiliar with Love Me Hair, like, where have you been living? Have you been living under a rock? Because, I mean, come on. <laughs> Love Me Hair is, like, my jam. I love them. They were, like, one of the first human hair companies to, that I um, worked with. So, I was really, really pleased when they reached out and wanted to send over this unit. So, we're going to get started with the installation process. So, I did bleach the knots off camera. I washed the hair. So, this is why you are seeing it in its more of an air dry state. Um, when it comes out of the packaging, if you order this exact unit, you will get it and it's going to be um, already pre-curled because when I got it, it did have a lot of um, curls in it. I could tell that it had already been pre-curled, but I just went ahead and washed it, conditioned it, and then I just let it air dry. And this is the texture that we have. So um, to install my unit today, I'm going to use my hot comb, my edge pomade stick, my combs, and my tweezers, and a little bit of holding um, spray as well. We're going to use some even spray. So we're just going to get into this process, okay? So first things first, I always like to push my hair back, kind of get it a little bit pre-styled. Um, I use my edge pomade stick and my hot comb to do that. And then I'm going to take my rat tail comb and I'm going to put my middle parting space because, you know, that's always what I gravitate towards. <laughs> so I went ahead and stuck with the middle part sensation today. Um, so when I was putting the wig on and, you know, just kind of getting it pre-installed, I could tell that it needed a little bit of plucking action. So I did, um, pluck the frontal just a tad bit in each area where I felt that it was a little bit more on that thick side. Um, and I knew I wasn't going to add any baby hairs today. So that's why I didn't go too into detail with the plucking. I just tried to make it a little bit more thinned out than what it was. So once we get the unit nice and plucked out, we are going to go back in with that hot comb and we're going to use the even spray in the red container to get the unit nice and stuck in place. I'm going to push back those hairs with the hot, um, the rat tail comb to just try to keep them out of place. And then I'm going to wrap my satin wrap cap around to mold that into place and make sure that it is going to look super duper seamless once it dries and that lace gets cut off. So 
So while it's drying in place, we're gonna move on to curling the hair. I'm using this curling wand that I got from Amazon. It comes with like six different size heads for you to curl your hair. Um, I'm using like this mid-size one. This is a very affordable option as well, you guys. So check out my description bar below um, if you are interested in this curling wand, if they still have it available, I hope they do. <laughs> um, and I think it was like ranging like 40 to $50. So I'm just going to curl each piece a section by section. We are loving this ombre effect with these highlighted ends and the highlight front pieces. It is a beautiful, beautiful color. I honestly feel like this is kind of like a signature look for me. I wore this type of colored hair very strongly um, in 2020 and the beginning of 2021. So I love this color option. So you guys are going to see me rocking this wig a lot. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So once I get finished adding those curls, I'm going to take off that satin wrap cap. And as you guys can see, the lace is still there, of course. It didn't disappear. <laughs> so I'm going to cut off that lace. And you can see that the lace is showing some more. So what you're going to do is go back in with your um, spray, your got to be, your even, whatever you use. And just go ahead and spray again on top of that. And take your... Um, blow dryer on a cool setting and then just blow dry it back down into place and that lace is just going to melt right into your skin and not even be visible and then i'm just going to wrap my wrap cap around one more time just to make sure it's nice and melted once we take that off this is what you get you guys it is going to be no more visible no more it's no more there it's not there okay you can't see it it's gone but you guys can see how beautiful this wig is like I'm not doing the wig any justice. It is beautiful on its own, okay? Um, and then I just want to make sure that I add a little bit more of a tight curl right there in the front of the unit. So we're going to go back in and add some more curls there um, just to make sure that it is framing the face perfectly. And you guys, that is the end of this installation process. I feel like my description of the installation process was a little bit quick, but I promise you once you get this down packed, it is honestly very easy. And reinstalling this wig is going to be even easier because you've gotten that lace cut off and it's already like pre styled style so with this method i probably would keep the wig on for a day and then take it off and then i put it back on the next day but you could do the adjustable straps in the back and you know do that cross method so you could just wear the wig glueless you don't even have to have any type of holding spray glue or anything like that you can just go with the flow put the wig on and you are good to go and if you guys want a video um of me showing you guys how i do that because i promise you i do that in my everyday life i'll be happy to do so so anyways, overall, love, love, love this wig. 10 out of 10 for sure. If you guys are interested in it, make sure you check out my description bar below. I'm going to have a direct link there for you. Thank you to Love Me Hair for sending over today's unit. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you all so much. You literally have no idea. Um, I just love you guys. I'm so appreciative of my um, supporting team that I have. I want to have like a name for y'all, but I just feel like I'm not that like put together <laughs> but if you guys have any suggestions um what i could call my supporters definitely let me know thank you all so much for watching i appreciate you all so much from the bottom of my heart love you guys and i will see you in the next video bye guys